Hey everybody, Brett from Stars Gaming here, back with part three of our Grand Ages Medieval Let's Play. So we are back in Britannia with our city of London, and last time around we built a second city, uh, Bristol. I have this open because it's the easiest way to pause the game, so I'm going to unpause it here. Oh, I actually do have it set to zero. So we made, or we founded Bristol last time around, and we built a road through, you know, western Britannia up to Dublin so that we have a little bit of an easier way to traverse uh, between you know Ireland and Britain without having to go all the way through Leeds and halfway to you know Glasgow to get there so that should just allow us to trade back and forth a little bit easier I'm also considering adding an, another path to this that'll let me go directly from Bristol to Leeds I don't know that roads cost you anything and so I feel like it's a good idea, although there might be like maintenance costs or something that I haven't found yet. So I'm a little bit hesitant. But I think we're going to go ahead and risk it. Because it will make trade a lot easier. I don't know if that's going to be a good path. Or if we should take it up a little bit further like that. That seems a little bit better to me. Looks good. I agree. Okay, so there we go. Let's get the clock running. And let's see. One of our traders is on his way back. Where's the other one? Our scout is over in Dublin. We should have two traders. But I only see one. Did we not build the second trader yet? Maybe we didn't. I feel like we did. Hmm... No problem. I, I thought we had two. Maybe I'm wrong. Anywho. How are we doing here? Got a lot of lumber, actually. Um, we'll buy some of that, and then we'll head to London. London's got quite a few things that we can sell. Let's get on with it. So we'll want to do that soon. We're practically there. Let's see about these. I think we've investigated all of these already, but just to be sure... see I'd like to purchase how many can I buy without going into two barrels five it looks like in the fifth barrel we put it into two yeah so we'll buy five already on the way we'll send you over to London meanwhile let's see about this wooden no shack here yeah so because we're at full strength they won't follow us let's get on with it and this cart I think has bandits Oh well. We'll uh, let this sort itself out. We can recruit a new guy right here, so we may as well go for it. Scouts usually don't fare pr very well against um, bandits, though. They don't do a whole lot of damage, from what I understand. Let's see, you're almost there. We are really cranking on production, although our... Hmm. Our balance is still in the negative. But we'll, we'll have quite a bit of trade income in just a bit here. Okay, so let's buy up a lot of fruit. Wow, we'll take a lot of it. We'll take 80, and then it looks like 17. Yeah, 17 more will put me into that. And we can finally start selling some beer as well, which is good. Two more. We'll see if we can get rid of some of these bricks too. Wow. We have a lot of excess. Let's see, I'll take... We'll just take like 50. We already have some. And off to Already leads. on the way. We'll just run the usual route of Leeds, Glasgow, Dublin, and then we can just take Dublin back to Bristol and just keep running them in a circle. And that should work out just fine. Looks like they finally beat the bandit, which is... I'm actually no surprised. Problem. I didn't think they'd be able to win. Oh, we got a bunch of gold. Nice. That works Stand out. By. See if we need to reinforce here. I don't think we do. We didn't. It'll usually give you a pop-up if you lose any troops. Yeah, so we didn't lose anybody there. Almost there. 
We'll just keep this guy sitting in Dublin for now. Uh, by the way, somebody was asking if you can improve roads. You can. I don't have the tech to do it right now, but if you look at my roads, they're mostly gray with some white dots. If you look at the roads here, they're mostly white with gray dots. These are the better roads. Um, I don't know if you can improve them past that, but we have the lesser of the two that I'm aware of. Let's actually look at our development here. Um, I believe it was... What was it? I think it was that one, and then road construction. Okay, so there is another one. Let's see. Increased traveling speed by 30%. That's actually a pretty big bump, but it takes two tech points just to get that. And then this one will give you another 15. I don't know that another 15% is worth it, but the, uh, the 30 definitely is. Hmm. Someone was asking if this is a necessity as well. It's not. Um... Basically, if you read the tool tip up there, it says, so towns can create larger stocks of commodities. It basically just increases the maximum amount that you can hold. Early on in the game, you should never be hitting your maximum. You should be selling it before you get there. Although it looks like we're getting to the point where we're going to be um, running into that. Let's see. How do they, how do they feel about me? Only 40, huh? Job. We're going to have to start buying some sympathy because I'd like to bring them into the fold here. I don't know how long that's going to take, but it looks like the French city down here has already absorbed one. So I'd like to keep pace if we can. I'll sell them all the lumber I have and all the beer. And let's see, they have some fruit, so we'll only sell them a bit. Okay, we'll sell them seven more. And then bricks. I don't think they need bricks. But apparently they'll buy everything I have. Well, may as well. I bought it for a lot a lot less Already than what on they're the offering. And then we'll see if the uh, Scottish need any fruit. What's going on here? Missing labor, okay. Well, that'll catch up eventually. There's not much we can do about it. We do need to build an inn here relatively soon, though. It's actually fairly cheap. I think we may as well, yeah. The inn's pretty important, because that's where you build your trader, so I guess that answers my question. If I don't have that built yet, I obviously can't build a trader. Hmm. It's a shame. I wish they didn't bow this out so wide. It'd be a lot more efficient to go between these if it was a straighter path. But, oh well. I'm not going to build roads between cities that aren't mine. Let's see. They have some fruit, but looks like they'll offer me a little bit more for it. I'll give you one more. Actually, I think... Let's see. Let's test this. So we got 60 for that last one. We get 60 as well, and then we get 59 for the next one. So let's sell them one more. Oh, am I going the wrong way? No, I'm not. Yeah, so we'll leave it at, leave it at that, because we're going to start With losing pleasure. money. And then we'll head back down to Dublin, hopefully sell off the rest. What are they producing? Oh, they're producing fruit as well. That's maybe not such a good idea. In that case, we'll just head to With Leeds, pleasure. sell them the rest. It'll be faster. We'll save time. No time is money. And then we'll just head back down here. And buy up some more. I think, yeah, they'll buy fruit. So we can sell our fruit there as well. How are we doing on construction here? About a quarter of the way, maybe? Um, I wanted to say I was pretty impressed with the... Uh, the response you guys had to this game um, definitely seems like there's a lot of interest for it, which is good because, you know, I enjoy playing it. Um, as I stated in the first episode and in the first impressions video, I do have a couple issues with it, but for the most part, I, with pleasure. I do enjoy the game, and it definitely seems like 
you know, the type of game that we'd be playing on this channel, because, you know, we do sort of... Um, well, I mean, I didn't plan it this way, Almost but we bad. seem to sort of gravitate toward uh, strategy games on this channel, which is totally fine. I enjoy strategy games. It's just kind of weird how that worked out, because it's not, like, exclusively what I play. I actually started out playing um, first-person shooters uh, very competitively. Um, I used to play in, like, cash prize tournaments for uh, Counter-Strike back when I was younger, and uh, so that's sort of where... I got my start, you know, seriously gaming. Um, prior to that, I really only played like. Uh, Good day. I let's see that see. you heard that I have an offer for you. from Paris Transit Agreement. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. They'll give me quite a bit of money for it. One. Um, like as I was saying though, prior to that, I really only played like sports games like Madden and uh, you know NBA 2K. Um, Real, real shame what's happened to Madden lately. It's such, it's just so terrible now. I, I haven't bought in one in a couple of years. Um, I don't follow football as much as I used to either because I don't play anymore. Um, and I work every Sunday, so I don't get to watch that much either. I, I'm still a big NFL fan. It's just, you know, it's hard to follow as closely when you're not able to actually like watch the games. So, yeah, that makes it kind of difficult. But, yeah, I used to be, you know, very, very big into uh, first-person shooters. Um, I don't enjoy them as much anymore just because they really, really lack depth for the most part. Um, you know, the Call of Duty games especially. Um, I haven't played a Call of Duty game since Modern Warfare 2. And from what I understand, they're basically all the same game after that, so. Um, yeah. Haven't played one of those in a while. Um, never been a huge fan of the Battlefield series beyond the original ones. Um, the originals being like Battlefield 1942 um, and so-and-so. But yeah, um, just not a huge first-person shooter kind of person anymore. Um, I'm hoping Fallout 4 will change that, because from the sound of it, they've really, really, um, ramped up the first, the quality of the, the shooting mechanics in the game, and that's good, because I found the combat in New Vegas to be really, really bad, um, and... I mean, in Skyrim, and you can make the case that the combat in Skyrim is pretty bad, too. I would tend tend to disagree. It's certainly not as good as, like, Dark Souls or something, but Bethesda games aren't really about combat. They're about immersion and exploration. And I don't find Fallout to be as interesting as the Elder Scrolls games. Um, not that, like, the Fallout lore is bad. I'm just not interested in, like... I don't know how to explain it. Um, Post-apocalyptic stuff doesn't interest me as much as, like, medieval fantasy does, I guess is the best way to explain it. And so, the Elder Scrolls universe to me is, you know, very, very interesting. Not that Fallout isn't, I just prefer that one. And so, I don't get as immersed in Fallout games, and it makes me much more aware of the combat mechanics and stuff. And so, I'm hoping that Fallout 4's combat mechanics will be considerably better to where the combat in and of itself is enjoyable, and it's not trying to rely on the story and the lore so much. Because, for at least me personally, the story and the lore isn't enough in a Fallout game to keep me hooked. In an Elder Scrolls game, it definitely is. But, that's again, that's just me personally. Um, so back on topic here, we need to kind of ramp things up. It looks like we're starting to fall off on our prosperity a little bit. Um, our balance is heading back up. We're still prosperous. We're just not in the you know the top tier like we were before. But it seems like the other cities are. So I could really use another trader because we are producing a ton of goods. This is almost done. As soon as that's done, we're going to build another trader. We should have more than enough... Uh, resources to do it. 
We do need to be careful about our balances, though. Let's see. Balance. Um, this is the last 10 weeks. Production costs. Hmm, okay. Maintenance, construction. Just, you have to pay the traders, and so I want to make sure that paying the traders isn't going to put us over our threshold and we go broke. Okay, so I'm thinking, what, 30? And then we'll give them another two. Give them some more beer. Uh, we'll sell them some lumber. Looks like they don't need it as badly. So we'll just sell 19, and then we'll sell these guys as many bricks as... Wow, I guess I'll take them all. Well, if they're willing to pay more than I purchased them for, then that's fine by me. And let's keep heading north. Certainly. Okay, let's head back to... Oh, not London. We want to check out Bristol. Almost done. Let's see. I'd really like to start making some fish as well. All of these, really, but... Um, we're definitely going to need another trader to do that. There's no way we could keep up the pace producing all those goods. Let's see. We don't have the metal wares to improve that. Assumption, all towns, blah, blah, blah. Oh, well. Um, I'm, it might be a little bit early to start talking about this. But definitely feel free to throw me suggestions on what area you'd like me to see play next. Obviously, we're going to keep running this one as long as we can. But um, inevitably, we're going to have to move on to um, another playthrough because, you know, this one isn't going to last forever. So I was thinking, I'm not sure what the cities are in Greece. But I was thinking maybe like Athens would be cool. And we'll Happy build like knowledge. a... I don't know if we'll be able to see it. Yeah, it's all fog of war. But the map does go all the way down to North Africa. It basically covers everything um, that the Roman Empire did and then some to the east. So we can definitely play as you know Greece down here. I assume it would be Athens since you know Athens is the biggest city in that area that I'm aware of. So, we could start with Athens and maybe build up, like, a Greek empire. That would be kind of cool. I'm making, like, hand gestures as I'm saying this, but you guys can't see them, so. Maybe I should start doing, like, a face cam. Let me know if you guys would uh, prefer that. I don't really like doing face cams. I don't really care to have my face in the videos, but if it would help you guys with uh, engagement, then I'm, you know, totally fine doing it. But, yeah, again, it's up to you guys, so. Sir. Let me know. Um, I should probably check on the time. I think we're getting a little bit close to the end here. I'll leave the clock running, and I'll tab out and come right back. Well, we've got, like, seven or eight more minutes, so we'll just keep on going here. Um, I do really like Let's Playing this game. It's a little bit different from stuff I usually do, but still, you know the same kind of I don't even know what I'm saying right now it's a strategy game so it still sort of fits on the channel but it's a little bit different strategy than we usually play um, it's also very very sort of mellow as far as the pacing goes which I kind of like because it gives me the opportunity to talk to you guys more than just kind of narrate what's going on uh, which is nice because usually I'm too busy talking about what's happening in the game to talk about anything related to the channel. Um, so I do like that as well. And so far, I mean, from the views that these have been getting, it seems like you guys really like this game. Obviously, you know, let me know in the comments if that's not the case, but I like it. Um, as I said before, there are issues I have with it, but I do enjoy playing it. Um, I'm curious to see how playing different areas differs. If there's only, you know, X amount of resources in the game, I'm hoping that all the areas don't play exactly the same. 
because that would really diminish the replayability of this game, which um, I think is very, very important for a game like this, where the campaign is sort of a tutorial and the meat of the game is sort of the like uh, free play mode, which is what we're doing now. Certainly. But obviously, if you know playing London is going to give me access to the exact same stuff that playing Athens is, then why would I replay it? You know, that's just the point I'm trying to make, I guess. I'm going to send the scout over to uh, there. what is that like Belgium and the Netherlands right there? It's like sort of Germany's like here and France is here. I think this is like Netherlands and Belgium. I don't know. It's hard to tell on like a completely, it's not featureless, I was going to say featureless map, it's not featureless, it's just, it doesn't show like borders or anything, so obviously you kind of have to figure them out for yourself. But I think that's roughly where Belgium and the Netherlands are. I think we might be better off sending some of this south. I'm going to buy up quite a bit. And then we're going to head to France and see if we can't get rid of it down there. Because it seems like we're started, starting to stagnate around here. Everybody has a lot of what we're selling because we're selling so much of it. So the supply in this area is getting a little bit higher than I'd like. And so let's go somewhere where there's some better demand. No. Oh, I don't have a trade agreement. Oh well. So much for that plan. Let's actually Stand head down by. there. And... That's a tent. We could try fighting them. Actually, I think it was up at the cart there. But yeah, I don't know that I Let's want a trade with agreement it. with them just yet. Good day. Where are we at with these guys? Just the transit? What um... exactly are you offering me? And what do you want in exchange? trade agreement would be next. I am very wary of that because last time I did something like that with a, a foreign nation, they basically just Nearby. flooded the market and it ruined my economy. And that was in my like test playthrough. So Let's I don't know it. if it's going to be the same this time around, but I am very wary of trying it. Let's see. They're, they're building stuff. Four, four, three, two, two. Okay. Might be worth it to upgrade one of these to something else. We could, like, for example, make uh, I don't know, one of the advanced resources, one of the second tier ones. Oh, we got some money. Cool. Almost there. Let's head up to that tent. I wish we could explore this. We just can't get far enough over there. No problem. Okay, so I can't do anything there. Almost Ooh, there. commodity pile, I'll take that. Very cool. Let's 400 fish. Um, we'll fight him, because why not? And let's see, he's almost to Leeds, and we're almost out of time. We've got a couple more minutes, maybe just like one or two, so we'll finish off this uh, transaction here, and then maybe end the episode. Let's see, they'll apparently buy all the beer, okay. That's fine by me. Oh, they're selling tools now. Good to know. How much of this will they buy? I think that's going to be enough for now. I'll sell them a lot of lumber. Not all of it. Let's see. Wow, they're going through a lot of bricks if they need that many. Okay, I'll sell them all. And up With to Glasgow. Pleasure. What are they producing exactly? Beer. So they're not producing the tools. They must have found them. Or somebody's producing them. Hopefully they can deal with that pretty quickly here. Oh, totally forgot. We need to build another trader. 
So they're working on the new trader. And then I think we should probably look at building up some fish. Let's see if we build two. Might be worth just going for two right out of the gate here. So let's try it. Because I don't think anybody around here is producing fish. I keep clicking on the wrong tabs. They are not... I keep clicking on the wrong tabs. Again, they're producing the tools, but they're not producing fish either. They aren't, I'm fairly certain. So let's sell this stuff off and then we're going to end the episode. Oh, we didn't get there yet. Now we're there. Have some fruit. They just must not have a very high population because they aren't exactly using a lot of food. Okay. How many tools can I buy? It's going to cost me 500. Hmm. It might be worth it to buy some tools. As long as it's in two barrels, we shouldn't get any penalties from buying Happy it from them. Oblige. If it was only one barrel, we would take a penalty. Uh, but either way, we should be able to make a profit selling it back to London because we're not producing anything like that down there. Um, that's still going on. I'm going to go ahead and pause here, and we're going to end the episode because we're at about just under 30 minutes. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to throw me some comments. Um, I you know, gave you guys a couple of things I wanted some feedback on, so um, definitely let me know your opinions on those. Um, and as always, feel free to share my videos however you guys see fit. And I will see you guys back here for part four of our Grand Ages Medieval Let's Play.